just in general. I would say the biggest thing to worry about here is, is actually team caught off stage. Spectacular is very good at catching people off stage and just keep them from there. And some like Mario, where, where they have a hard time like mixing up their recovery, All right. like might be a bit more, might be more tricky to do so. We'll see. And here we go in the game one. Like Mark and like Mark stalls recovery, but mixing up off stage might be a bit more tricky against like, some of the jungle pub. And then again, you can just see Puff realizing that, like, okay, you have the faster frame data, so I'm not going to go too committal on any of my aerials. So I'm just going to, like, go in. If I hit your shield, drift out. If I do hit something, then I'll go in even further. Well, this is Master Mario good for a lot more reads in this match. Like, for instance, just going for more up airs because the Puff's going to stay in the air a lot. Also, looks like a lot of down airs, too. So he wants to get something started, but the hard part is actually getting something started in Dream Puff because Dream Puff's not going to be on the ground too often. All right. And only only her, to land between jumps. Yeah, and then all of her aerials kind of like either out space or beat out Mario's. Mm -hmm. That back air especially is very, very good. It's always yeah. been good, really. All right. I mean, Mario basically just has Nair. Oh, that'll do it. Oh, yeah. And you know Forward what? Like, air into, into that neutral air, very good combo, honestly. All right. You know and that's, go sorry. Ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And that, that's one of the hard things that Mario's going to struggle in this matchup is because like his only good aerials to combat Jigglypuff are the bear and the up air, you know. Mm -hmm. So he has to basically have his back turned the entire uh, match if he wants to like challenge Jigglypuff in the air. Oh, Speckler's doing such a good job right now at this, but he just with that very, very little edge guard there, unfortunately. Ooh, but oh, but a quick up smash out of shield will clean out that stock. I got 94. I'm uh, just gonna point out real quick. Jigglypuff being the second last character in the game. Actually, saw the third last character last last match there, Squirtle. <laughs> but yeah. Here we go, Fair. And looking for another Nair or Fair off stage, but no, Mario's gonna grab ledge before he can do that. Speckler's doing just a good job being at the right place at the right time. Right. Oh, but that's not gonna do it, of course. <laughs> not, not that early. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking it was. Again, there's an air off stage. No, is it going to be another air? And yes, that will be the oh. other air to forward the game. That air just saved that for so, so long. You don't see Jigglypuff go that low too often as well, too. I mean, you don't see players trying to avoid it going down that low to begin with. That, too. <laughs> that seems pretty aggressive for a Puff player as well, which is actually kind of his favorite, I'd say, most of the time. All right. A lot of Puffs would like to, like to sit back and go in whenever there's a good opportunity to do so. Beckler's like forcing a lot of situations. It's working out really well for him. All right. I feel like he can kind of do that because there are, people are, like don't have enough matchup experience with the new Puff to figure out like what Puff wants. Oh, not yet. No, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Close. Not quite. Very close. Yeah. <laughs> I like I like what Master Mario is doing. He's just like, okay, like I'm going to just try to like flood you off stage. Yeah, it's not like you have a hitbox. Yeah, Puff can't. Oh, not not sure yet. Yeah, Puff can't like fast fall too quickly because very, very flowing all that. It's hard for him to get back in this situation. He just keeps spamming the flood. Oh, but you know Master Mario is just looking for that one smash attack. And you know what? Speckler was looking for his smash attack of his own right there. Oh, there's the Nair. Oh. Not going to get the strong kick of it, unfortunately. Oh! oh. That was super close. Yeah. You know, he he tried. He tried. I, I appreciate the effort with the the side B trying to break his shield, but unfortunately there was not enough shield damage in order to actually break in. So up smash out of the shield is really good. Mm -hmm. Who to thunk? That's why it seems to play out match up pretty well. I think my I think what I said is probably true. Like haven't played Sin probably a good amount here here at like MSM or other tournaments around around SoCal. Here we go to game two. Oh, yeah, again, you know, there's that trading of aerials again. So, you know, Mario's like one of the characters in the matchup where, like, once he can get his hands on you, like, you are eating damage. And you know, with Puff, like, you can't oh. afford that damage. That was a bit scary right there. You know, Master Mario just, like, trying to space a lot more aerials. But, you know, that trampling uh, dash attack and catching the double jump. Not gonna be able to capitalize it. Ooh. Puff also has a lot. I've known as well too. Puff has a lot of aerial drift and just a lot of distance they can get off of that uh, directional air dodge. So you see Speckler doing that a lot. Get back to ledge instead of like jumping there and be more vulnerable. All right. I mean, you no. Know, like the 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 air dodge uh, distance depends on uh, how floaty you are. So like the more floaty you are, the more distance that you get off of it. So like characters perfect. like Ness and Lucas who are like super floaty like and like good aerial uh, mobility, like they're able to get like super far on their, their uh, directional air dodge. 
And then you have characters like Mac that just go like absolutely nowhere. Poor Mac. Poor Julie Puff. Mesmer, get that forward smash. Take out pretty early. Again, jab, jab, off stage, and the oh, pound. Oh, reach for the ledge. Yeah, I don't think he, I, I think he was uh, he he jumped or tried uh, a normal get up and unfortunately beat it out. But well, no, I know the pounded box like reaches like this is it's basically around Jigglypuff. Yeah. That was a super good recovery from Master Mario. Yeah. Holy crap! Oh, here's another nair, and yet again, oh, Master Mario just waiting until the last second to pull the trigger on that up B to avoid the nair. The Jigglypuff nair is actually very good. It comes, it's very good when it comes out. It's Dark hit boss right there, and also just stays out for quite a while. Right. Very underrated option in general from Jigglypuff. That's a that was good though. And yet again, here we go, just with the spacing aerial game. Oh, there's the air dodge, and yet again the super early up beat this time to like mix up the timing of the recovery. But ooh, that was a, oh. such a bold punish. No, he was expecting the air dodge, but not gonna be able to find it. And it, I thought he was still for a second. And it didn't matter if he did. Yeah. Yet again, you know, Speklar seems to be having a way more control of the matchup uh, this time around. Oh no, can Master Mario get the, the edge guard now? No, he cannot. And so, yet again, Speklar is going to be able to continue to push his lead even further. Barely. But just like that, Master Mario is just like, uh, you're pushing your lead? I think not. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> There we go. There's the up here, but no, Speckler just able to break out of that combo with her in there of her own. Oh, there's the back air. Here's the edge guard, and no, not gonna be able to find it, but gets the up air. Still not, still not landed. All right. Ooh, oh. gets a four tilt on the read of the air dodge, and then the up B, just good damage. One more good aerial will we'll probably do it for Puff. But so, same thing, Master Mario. All right. I feel like an up smash out of shield. Like, Puff cannot hit anything on shield anymore at this point. Mm -hmm. I thought it was going to back throw. I right. might have actually killed that person. Nah, the rage. Nah. Maybe. He would need to be at the ledge for it to kill. It's true. Oh, not yet. All right. Oh, no, uh, he's his double jump. That's it. That's yep. it. There we go. Speckler is just so good at being just where he needs to be this time. Just to like catch someone in the air. In the air. All right. That's where he's getting a lot of his damage in general. Yeah, he just forces you to like pick an option off stage. You know, unfortunately, that it's option, if he covers it, like is the wrong option. That sort of play is just something that comes with just playing a character for a long time. Right. Speckler has been around for a while playing buff, so it makes sense, really. No, it's, yeah, it shows true mastery of the character when you can get your character exactly where you want in the exact time that your opponent's going to be. Oh, yeah. Master Mario has also been around for a while playing this is that character to Mario. We'll see, if, we'll see what happens. Let's we'll see whose expertise shi shines the most in, in this game three right here. There's the up B. Oh no, he's going for the fair instead, but not going to be able to quite get the uh, sweet spot on that. One well, as well too. My, this is just very good for Mario. Honestly, I'm surprised they keep going back here in PS2. I mean, it's like it's a neutral stadium, so yeah. Well, yeah, four fast taking that stock. That's Mario again. A pretty nice early lead here. So yeah, again, you can see Master Mario just spacing out aerials or fireballs, just be like, okay, I got the lead now. Now you're gonna have to force the approach. So I'm not gonna like risk me throwing out an aerial that'll get punished but i feel like that's the wrong option in this case because no speckler is just like fine you're letting me approach then like i'll gladly take your non-aggression and uh raise you up one by giving you 129 percent speckler doing a great job bringing this back all of a sudden all right. oh first seems to be actually laying this kill though in this case right. up there almost taking it right through that fireball that's super sneaky i like it you can just see Jigglypuff just trying to get in and get that one landing killing blow, but you know, Master Mario is just being like, okay, I'm not going to let you. Who gets the flood off stage? No. Oh, that was oh, that's super too greedy. Much. Like, but, I was right back to the ledge, though. That was yeah. perfect. I'm amazed he managed to grab on the ledge because I didn't know like he was anywhere near that ledge. I'm amazed point. he even got there in the first place. Right. Like, Zeklar had that scattered up pretty well. Apparently Dude. not good enough in this yeah. case. Yeah, Mario at 180, so any hit and that will be the stock. You know, I'm seeing a lot. Of, you know, you know, I haven't seen a lot from Daryl in this match. What? Uh, Puff's not used any rest or any single sing at all. I mean, sing against a Mario that's like uh, asking to to get punished. This is and true. Rest. I feel like 
rest is something that you do on a hard read or a hard punish only. And like against a Mario, when you can eat a full charge like F Smash, that will kill you at 50. Yeah. Yeah. It's very tricky for sure. The spec I was doing though is working out very well. I feel like at this point you might need to do some sort of something like that like, to bring it back a bit more, but we'll see. I mean, he would need a, a either an insane combo or an insane like roll read in order to do that. Oh yeah. And Speckler I has been just in Speckler's whole match has been pretty safe overall. Yeah. So it's difficult. Yeah. <laughs> really, where anything else? Ooh, quick back air to kind of uh, throw Jigglypuff off stage, and you know what? That back air will not be able to do it, but he gets another back air. Another that back air be will it. do it. Yeah. yeah. Speckler, there's still a chance right here. Like I said, if he actually get a rest right, like pretty soon, this could be it. Oh my that god. That was a 46% combo. That was super good there. Right. But I'll smash that shield taking it. Right. Such a good ass shield option. Oh my god. I know Speckler was making that comeback after the dare. I thought like if he gets one up air after this, like that's it. Oh yeah, that was super good there from Master Mario. Right. I got pretty scared at the end there though. 